I'm LaDonna Batty. I'm an FNP. I work in a clinic. It's called Dequeen Health and Wellness in Dequeen, Arkansas. I don't want to say that I saved them. I just assisted them. I, I just doing what I would normally do. Uh, actually, I, I was up there getting a drink at the little cook shack, you know, uh, getting ready to get back on the, uh, the tour bus because it was about around 1045 and we were supposed to head back around 11 or 1130. And I heard a bunch of commotion and someone ran around the corner and said, can you come help? Can you come help? And they led me to them. They were up at the front office is where they were at. How they got to the front office, I don't know. I've asked Amber a couple times and she says she can't remember how she got there. And I just, I walked into the scene and uh, started trying to assist them. Well, I just, when I first walked in, and at that time I didn't know their names, so I was calling them girl number one and girl number two. Girl number one was uh, right in the door entrance in the floor when I walked in. Girl number two was across from her in the floor, and her, that was Amber. And they were both in the floor. They looked in just a complete mess. Um, girl number one, which is Don Gala, she, her bathing suit was very um, out of place. Her, she, her, her breast was exposed. You know, she didn't even know that they were exposed. She was vomiting in the floor, um, coming in and out of consciousness is what uh, girl number one, which is Don Gala, was doing. Amber was over in the floor across from her. I immediately started trying to look at her and get her to come to and try to listen to me and talk to me. At that point, um, I was trying to look at their skin and trying to just look at everything. That way I would be able to write down what I seen because I could tell it was this was a bad situation. It was going to go south pretty quickly. I uh, noticed that both girls had bruises on their legs, uh, lots of bruises on their knees. From about kneecap down is the bruises that I noticed on them. Um, I immediately started trying to, I didn't have much to work with as far as to assess them besides just to try to check their pulse. So I started, you know, trying to do that, which they were both elevated because they were very excited. And I started trying to talk to Amber and she started just screaming out loud, you know, we were raped, we were raped by some guys and just kept repeating that to me. And then she, in between then, she, in between that, she would have to stop because she felt like she was going to puke. And I just kept trying to redirect her and ask her as many questions as I could. During that meantime, I was also trying to watch the video surveillance is at front where they were the two women that were in there from the resort. There was a lifeguard. And then the other lady that was there was the one that gave us the introduction when we got to the resort, kind of telling us what we could do and what we couldn't do, what the amenities were that we could use there. She was also looking at the cameras. I was watching the cameras. They were going through the footage, I guess, trying to find the guy that she was saying was a staff member. And they did find that. They said, okay, here it is right here. And it was it was Amber and the, the staffer walking through the beach there. She was standing beside him. She had her arm hooked in his arm, and they were just walking. And at that point, she sent someone to go get him, bring him up there for the girls to identify. And they did identify him. And they, they immediately started crying and getting louder and getting scared, acting, trembling even more when they brought him into the room. Oh, it escalated. It got worse. The crying, being even more scared. They were terrified. Both the girls were. I mean, they were they were terrified. They just, I knew something had happened to them by looking at them. I could tell that they had been assaulted in some manner. Um, and then she blurted out that they were raped. And in between, like I said, Don Gala was in way worse shape as far as coming in and out of consciousness. You know, she was trying to tell us some stuff, but in the meantime, she was puking. She was having a hard time conveying what had happened to her because she was actively getting sick and stuff. Uh, Amber was staying a little bit more focused, but I was like right in her face talking to her, you know, asking her what had happened and stuff. I seen the comments about the videos being released and the timestamps didn't match up. I, I can't even, I guess, trying to fathom what they could even be talking about. Um, I don't know what they mean by time stamp. Was the girl's story kind of jumbled and stuff? Absolutely. They were drugged, trying to pull their thoughts together and tell a detailed event of what exactly happened. I mean, for someone that wasn't drugged, that would be hard when you went through something traumatic. So I don't know why they're tearing that apart. I mean, 
like I said, I understand 100% people being skeptical of the situation. I see it every day in my clinic when people come in here and tell me things and trying to get things that I don't want to prescribe. I get that. I see that. You kind of got to step back and be like, oh, okay. But I, I, I have no disbelief what happened with them when I walked in the room. And that's all I can speak on is what I visually seen in that room. And immediately I knew something had happened to them by just the way they looked and then the way they were acting. I can't speak on anything that was on the video. I didn't see all the videos, but I can't imagine what they're talking about. Time stamped. You know, I, I, I don't know where they were even found or how they got to the front office. But all I can speak on is what I walked into and seen. The scene that I seen led me to believe that these girls had been assaulted in some form or fashion. These girls had been hurt. They had bruises on their legs. Their clothes were all in a mess. Their hair was in a mess. They were in complete shambles. Something had happened to these girls.